Better Call Harry, as always, bringing uh, information to you and in a very exciting way. Uh, we hope you took a lot from that, but we want to continue that conversation because as much as a job creation and investment in film is exciting, there's also a lot of people looking to take advantage, and that's why we have our Better Business Bureau consumer expert, Simone Williams, here with us to talk about those fraudsters out there. Uh, Simone, thank you so much for joining us here on Atlanta News First Plus. Oh, thank you for having me. I know this, uh, you you're you're a regular expert on this segment, so you're pretty familiar with uh, dishing out some of these must-watch-for scams. But uh, film industry fraudsters, they have creative ways of looking for their victims. What are some things to watch out for if you're maybe somebody trying to get into the film industry or a current film industry worker that doesn't want to fall victim to a scam? Absolutely. You know, it, getting into the film industry is just like how you would get apply for any type of job do you pay up front to pay uh, for that job before you even do any type of work so what you want to do is you just want to look for those little t um, tiny nuances of you know they're wanting you to use their people as in their act um, their photographers their videographers if they're wanting you to only use that their, um, their people for to be representative that's usually a, a screaming red flag for a scam yeah certainly um, and uh, you know the film industry is home to a lot of people who really look to it to be content creators, to be uh, imaginationers that bring our dreams to the big screen, to life. And so a lot of people uh, are stepping into this, you know, taking a leap of faith, uh, working the hard, long hours, often for not a whole lot of pay, to make it big in their dreams. So that presents a lot of vulnerability. Um, what, what are these fraudsters looking out for when they're targeting um, film industry workers? Well, these scammers are targeting the people that are really eager to join um, the industry people who you know they they want it so bad they can taste it that they're willing to do anything for it but unfortunately these scammers prey on that type of emotion type of you know they know that you're not going to ask questions they know that you're just going to say yes yes I want to do this I want to do that I, I just want to be seen so scammers know that and unfortunately they capitalize on that like you want to be seen so here you have to pay first before we can you know promote you in this uh, endeavor or if you want to audition you have to pay for audition that you don't have to pay for audition so it's just one of those things that you know we we get excited we see the glitz and glam of stardom but you know you just want to slow down you want to make sure that you read everything and just you know just do your due diligence and research who you're actually working with and you know uh, even me myself I'm, I'll scroll <laughs> through my social media and I'll see those advertisements pop up for casting gigs and you know camera crew work and all of this other stuff um, for those side gig workers that are, are trying to you know earn a living as we all are um, on social media specifically what are some things that can pop up that might catch your eye, but you should really take a closer look? One major thing is that the recording near you. Where is near you? you they don't give any specific um, address or location. They just say, we're going to record near you. So that screams um, a scam. Another thing is that, you know, you look for their contact information. It's a very generic, you know, Johnny who can make you a star at gmail.com. You want to look at the contact. You want to make sure you actually look up the actual organization. Are they, um, are they verified? Are they on BBB? Uh, it's just one of those things that you've really have to do your research first before you know you put in any type of personal information um you know these side gigs and these acting gigs they ask you know for your banking account information your personal information but you know before you give that without you know asking questions go ahead and ask questions i think falling victim to a scam can often be a very vulnerable thing and not something that people want to share or, or confess that they got fooled in that way, but it, it, there's a different way of thinking about it. If you are encountering something like this and you think it might be a scam, what are some steps people can take to verify the information they're getting is credible? Well, we have this free tool called the Scam Tracker on BBB.org, which if you put a person's name, their email, their phone number, and see in our database if someone else um, brought this to BBB's attention. I know that no one wants to say, yes, I've been scammed, but we need those people to speak up so we can warn others. You know, scammers hope that you don't say you got scammed or they hope that you don't really tell anyone so they can 
get to their next victim. They, if you don't say anything, then, you know, the next person can be victimized. So you, what you want to do is just go to bbb.org forward slash scam tracker and just take a look and see, you know, if, if you get this gut instinct that, you know, something's not right, you could always go to the scam tracker. Again, put their name, put their email, put their phone number. Someone has reported it. A lot of booming business is coming to Doraville with the establishment of our state-of-the-art film studio, Assembly Atlanta. We're so excited to unveil that here on Atlanta News First Plus and Atlanta News First. Um, but a lot of jobs, a lot of more people moving to that area. What are some things, as a consumer safety expert, as a spokeswoman for the BBB, what are some words of advice that you can tell to people that are going to have this fresh start? Slow down. <laughs> the idea of, you know, stardom, it's fun, it's great, but just really slow down, really do your research, really know who you're talking to, who you're interacting with, look them up. If they do ask for money, then run the opposite direction because, again, you shouldn't have to pay upfront fees or any type of casting, um, paying for casting. These things are normally free. So if, you know, if an agent, a talent agency is saying, hey, before we can, um, you know, represent you, you have to pay this fee go the other way again just do your research visit bbb.org see what other people are saying um see if they have reviews of the organization or any complaints it's just you know doing your due diligence i know people don't like what i'm reading the fine print but in this instance if you want to be a star i encourage you to read the fine print first couldn't have said that better myself. <laughs> Any final thoughts, uh, more resources, uh, how to connect with the Better Business Bureau? Absolutely. You know, we're all on all the social media platforms, BBB, um, at BBB Atlanta, Facebook, um, X, formerly Twitter, LinkedIn. But, yeah, we have a whole source of resources for both consumers and businesses because, you know, even though we're talking about actors, we are also talking about businesses that want to support the um, industry. So we definitely have tips and resources for those businesses that are interested. So I encourage them to go to BBB.org.